Sin Sunday to you. Yes, Amen. Happy Sunday yeah. morning. Feliz domingo por la mañana y feliz domingo de resurrección. Amen. Pastor yeah. San Francisco, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Mm -hmm. A church you can call home yes. where we honor God, love family, serve others, and uh -huh. pursue excellence. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. That blesses me. I don't know about you. Bienvenidos a la iglesia nuevo comienzo. So we want to welcome all our NBC family, all the visitors, and all those of you that are joining us by audio or video. Amen. Yes, so amen. praise God. Prepare yourselves. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Amen. Yes. And we got a lot of beautiful um, slides for you here in a few minutes. But first of all, grab your Bibles, grab your swords, soldier of God. Amen. So praise God. You can't be a soldier without your That's sword. It. We need a sword. Amen. And this That's is it. awesome. So let's make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. This is my Bible. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Leave, leave it right there. It says, I am what it says I am. We got to take the Word of God serious. Amen. And use it. He says use authority. You know when you use authority, uh -huh. you use the word of God. Yes. Amen. Submit yourself to God. Mm -hmm. Resist the devil. Re resist the devil means you take authority. Yes. And he's got to go. Not because yeah. he wants to. He has to. Yes. Amen. Uh, so don't doubt the word. Amen. Amen. Take authority. Use the word. Amen. So hallelujah. I'm excited. I don't know about you. But today's message is going to be he's risen. Yes, yes he is. Amen. The world can't say that. About their heroes, about their gods, because yes. their gods are still in the grave. Amen. But us believers, us Christians, our hero, yes. Jesus. Yes. Amen. He is risen. Amen. And that's what we want to be talking about. He has risen, and we serve a risen Savior. Yes, we do. Amen. We serve a risen Savior, not yes. a dead Savior, that's but it. a risen Savior. Yes. Amen. We need to remember this. Uh -huh. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So, let the word of God bless you. Let the word of God encourage you. Let the yes. word of God change you. Let the word of God correct us. Amen. Yeah. On a daily basis. Thank you, Lord. Ooh. Man. Yes. I have a, uh, a prayer that I read to our church already, but I want to read it with you. Amen. It goes something yeah. like this. And you can pray your prayer, whatever prayer you yes. pray to God. But it goes like this. A resurrection Sunday prayer. Lord God, you loved this world so much that you gave your one and only son that we might be called your children too. If you're not a child of God, it's time for you to be a child of God. Why do you, well, how do I do this? Just receive him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. And from then on, you're a child of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. No matter how many times you fall, still ask forgiveness. He'll forgive yes. you. He says he forgives and forgets. Yes. So don't let people, don't let yourself hold you back from what yes, God yes. has for you. Yes. He's called you and he's equipped you yes, he to win. He's equipped you to succeed. Amen. So press on with the things of God. Amen. Woo. So you're a child of God. Don't call yourself anything less than what the word of God says. Amen. We're going to have to teach on that some more. Uh -huh. But we're to say confess the word, not confess what the world says, not confess what negative people say. Or what you think about yourself, we got to correct this person here, amen? We got to correct this person and start confessing the right things, amen? Ooh, Lord, help us to live in the gladness and the grace of Resurrection Sunday every day, each and every day, amen? We got to be ready. We got to be soldiers. We got to be warriors for God on a daily basis, not just once in a while, mm -hmm. but on a daily basis. Let us have hearts of thankfulness and set your... your let us have hearts of thank thankfulness for yes. your sacrifice. Let yes. us have eyes that yes. look upon your grace and your uh, wow. rejo and rejoice in your yes. in our salvation. Help us to walk in that mighty grace and share your good news yes. to the world. Man, every one of us, the Bible says, and we're going to use this scripture. Saint Corinthians five uh, seventeen says, "We're the new creatures in Christ. Yes. The old is gone; the new is in." That's it. So don't let the world put the old back on you. That's and it. don't you bring the old back on you. Oh, Amen. Man. It's gone. We're new creatures in yes. Christ. That's what the word of God says. That's what I'm going to go with. Uh -huh. Amen. So praise God. Good news. And we're to be ministers of reconciliation. That's what the scripture says. 
So you bring in the good news to a lost world. Amen. Yes. For all your glory, do we pray, Lord? Amen. Yeah. I just wanted yeah. to share that with you. So <laughs> prepare yourself to receive. Amen. He's risen. He's not here. He is risen. We serve a risen Savior. Listen, I've been, thank God, I've been to Israel. I've been to the tomb. I've been outside. I've been inside. And he's not there. <laughs> he's not there. It's just like the Bible says. He's risen. Yeah. He's seated at the right hand of God. Yes, he is. He meant a place of authority. I'm getting yeah. a little ahead of myself, but he sits at a place of authority. Amen. So praise God. Let me see what I wrote here. He's not here. He is risen. Death, final call. He didn't obey. Huh. Amen. He rose like he said he would. Amen. And there's plenty of scriptures that uh, can verify that. <clears throat> Get these out. He rose seated at the right hand of the Father. Resurrection. Listen, resurrection Sunday is yeah. not about Easter bunnies. Or no. Easter eggs. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, but <laughs> it's a lot of yeah. It's celebrating the risen, the rising of our son. Uh, I mean, the Lord and Savior Jesus yeah. Christ. He's not dead. He's alive. That's it. Amen. You have to receive this. Yes. And walk in this mm -hmm. by faith. Yes. We walk by faith, not by sight. Not by sight. Amen. So praise God. Though all the four gospels give an account of this. Amen. And we ought to be reading one of them. But Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all of them give an account. Um, his resurrection. Yes. He's not here. Yeah, excuse me. He's not here. He has risen. Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew. Well, here's one of them. He's risen. Death could not hold him. Uh -huh. So rejoice in the resurrection of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. This is uh, Matthew chapter 28. And we're going to be reading that in a few minutes. Keep going. Man, this is beautiful. <laughs> Matthew 28, 5 and 6. All right. Here we go. It says, An angel said to a woman, do not be afraid for i know that you are looking for jesus <laughs> you see i know you're looking for jesus who was crucified he's not here he has risen just as he said just as he said he kept his word just as he said yeah come and see the place where he lays matthew 28 5 and 6. Mm -hmm. amen praise god and keep going it's, this is uh, Luke 24, 6 and 7. He's not here again. He is risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you mm -hmm. in Galilee. The Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of the sinners. Be crucified. And on the third day, he will rise again. Amen. And there's proof. Well, I don't want to yeah. get too, too, too ahead of myself. Keep going. And uh, this is the uh, book of John. says, he is risen. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believeth in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Do you believe this? Amen. Some of us have been running too, too long. It's time to come home. It's time to receive him as your Lord and Savior. Things are going to change. Miracles are going to start happening. But you have to make that move. You have to receive him yeah. as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Let me read what I have here now. Man, uh, Mark 6, 6, 16 says in the New King James. But he said unto them, do not be alarmed. Yeah. You seek, this is the angel again. Mm -hmm. You seek Jesus of Nazareth who was crucified. He is risen. Yeah. He's not here. See the place where he laid? Mm -hmm. Where they laid him? He says he invited him to come see. Yeah. This is where they laid him. He's not here. He took the keys of death, hell, and the grave. Revelations uh, 118. New King James. He says, He's not here. He who lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Yes. Amen? Amen. And I have the keys of hell and death. Mm. Ooh, man, can you imagine Jesus walking through there and walking right up to the devil and taking the keys from mm -hmm. him? <laughs> In front of everybody that's watching. Yes. Amen. Mm. Come on now. <laughs> He rose and he is at the right hand of the Father, place of authority, interceding for us. Yes. Just remember this. That nobody cares for me. Nobody gives nothing about me, you know. Yes, they do. He does. Yes. God crucified his son. I mean, God sacrificed his son. Sacrifice. Amen. Jesus allowed him to be crucified. Yes. Amen. And he gave himself for you. And now he's seated at the right hand of God, mm -hmm. interceding, praying for us. Mm -hmm. So don't say nobody cares, nobody prays for me. 
Somebody's praying for you. Yeah. Remember that footprints in the sand? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he carries us when we can't do anymore. That's it. Romans 8 34 says this. Who is he who con condemn condemns? It is Christ who died mm -hmm. and forevermore is also risen. Yeah. Who is even at the right hand of God mm -hmm. who also makes intercession for us. Yeah. And Ephesians again it says which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in heavenly places. Yeah. We have these uh, scriptures also. In uh, 1 Corinthians, it gives an account, says, uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 5 says, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, mm -hmm. that he was buried, then he was raised on the third day. Amen. So we have scriptures to back this up. Colossians 3 and 1 says this If then you were raised with Christ Seek those things which are above Where Christ is seated at the right hand of God If you don't know where he's at He's seated at the right hand of God Amen. Right. He's coming back yes, And we're going to read in a few minutes mm -hmm. Amen Resurrection again Resurrection Sunday is not just about Easter bunnies and uh, Easter baskets and it's about celebrating the rising of our Savior yes. and then the rising of, of the Lord Jesus Christ Woo, I think I told you this but I'll tell it to you again anyway the um, yeah I'll, I'll tell it when you come up here and then you say it <laughs> this third grade teacher was uh, teaching the third graders and uh, she told them about Jesus and uh, she says does anybody third graders does anybody know what the first words Jesus said when he walked out of the tomb? And the little girl in the back, Mary, how you little Mary over there in the back? Man, yeah. she's going crazy. She's going wild. She's raising her hand and she says, teacher, teacher, I know, I know. And the teacher says, okay, little Mary, what did Jesus say? He says, ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> the resurrection of Jesus was indeed a great ta-da! You know, here I am. I told you on the third day. You know when he walked through the walls when he when, yeah. when he appeared to his disciples or apostles. He says, "Ta da! It's me." Amen. Ah uh, man, I say, man, I would have been passed out. <laughs> but he would celebrate his resurrection. We can celebrate his, his resurrection not just on Easter Sunday, not just on Resurrection Sunday, but every day, daily. Celebrate with an attitude of gratitude. Yeah. Celebrate with an attitude of giving thanks. Amen. Uh -huh. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the resurrection Sunday. <laughs> for the resurrection season. Amen. <laughs> Come on now. Amen. Remember, he's our living, uh, he's our living and yes. victorious Savior yes, and yes. King. Amen. Yes. Remember that he paid the price in full. Yeah. He paid it all. He could have walked away from it, but he chose to go through with it. Amen? Amen. Again, Matthew 28 and 6 says, the angel says, he's not here, he's risen. And he says, come and see the place where the Lord lays. Mm -hmm. How many can say that? Mm -hmm. Dig him up. There's a hill over there. <laughs> We're going to be talking about Buddha. We're going to be talking about uh, what's, what's some, some other ones? Buddha, Allah, Confucius. <laughs> go, go, go dig him up. And guess what? The bones are still there. They're still there in the, in the grave. You can't say that about Jesus. Nobody can explain it, but the Word of God does. <laughs> he's not here. He's risen. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I've had the privilege to be there. And I had a fun trip going uh, to Israel. And he's, he's not there. And I had, a, you know, I had a fun time getting baptized in the, in, in the Jordan River. <laughs> Praise God. The world has proved, but they can't explain it. Mm -hmm. Amen. To the world, Easter is just another holiday. Mm -hmm. Come on now. All right. A third day weekend, lots Good. of fun, no work, time off, mm -hmm. party time, entertainment, mm -hmm. foods, barbecues, traveling, vacations. Easter break is now spring break. Yeah. yeah. They won't even say Easter anymore, mm -hmm. much less resurrection. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, we're on spring break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. schools, uh, jobs, you know, yeah. their works. That's what they're saying now. Mm -hmm. To believers, Easter and resurrection is Jesus rising from the dead. Mm -hmm. Jesus paid the price in full. Yeah. 
Yes, he did. Amen. For all, John 3 16, for God so loved the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo, let's go there. One of my favorite scriptures. Well, all of them are my favorite. Yes. Amen. We're just going to look real quick and then we're going to read some more. Everybody should know this. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We always read it yeah. so we can get more into us mm -hmm. and our faith grows. And yes. you know what? Here's the thing is remember this. We're different, different. All of us are at different yes. levels of maturity. So it's okay to hear it again. Amen. Yeah. And just grow from it. Amen. Amen. John 3.16 says what? For God so loved the world. people. <laughs> For God so loved the world. Amen. Yes. <laughs> that he gave his only son. That whoever believeth in him should not perish. But what? Everlasting. But have everlasting life. Amen. For God said not his son into the world to condemn the world. But that the world through him might be saved. Mm. And that's where we come in. He's the head and we're the body. And the body is here sharing the word of God. Amen. We are the body. <laughs> yes. Let me see what else I wrote here. Praise God. Celebrate the resurrection daily. Victory over death, hell, and the grave. Salvation is a free gift. Nobody knows this, you know. But you have to let them know. Salvation is free. Jesus yeah. died so that we could receive uh, salvation. Let's go to Romans 10, 9, and 10. Let me take this for granted, but let's see what it says. Romans, book of Romans, chapter 10 and verse 9. Are you there? Yep. All right, let's go. It says this. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. But you have to confess with your mouth. I can't do it for you. That's it. You can't do it for nobody else. That's it. They have to confess it with mm -hmm. their mouth. And they have to receive him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo. And verse 10 says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, mm -hmm. but with the mouth confession is made unto mm -hmm. salvation. Yes. Woo. Come on now. Amen. So thank you, Lord, for that free gift. And you know when somebody gives you a gift, what yeah. do you have to do? Yeah. You, you have to it. receive it to take it. It's mine now. So when you receive salvation, it's mm -hmm. yours. Jesus wants to give you his free gift. Yes, yes. And some people will never confess Jesus. That's mm -hmm. what the Bible says. Well, never. Yes. So, new beginnings for a new beginning, and for a better life. Let's go over again to 2 Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians is right after uh, 1 Corinthians. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Are you there? Chapter 5? Yes, chapter 7, Corinthians 5, 17. Okay. Very familiar. You know how you spell ministry? I've told you to ask you this, or I've told you this before. Ministry, you spell ministry like this. All of us are ministers in reconciliation. Ministry is spelled like this P E O P L E. Mm. Who are you going to minister to? People. Okay? You're bringing good news to the people. So it says, therefore, if, if any man be in Christ, what? He's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. new. Yes. And all things are of God and has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. And has given a, to us the ministry of reconciliation. Yes. So don't say, you know, you're, you're not called or you can't do this, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. You have been given a ministry. You have been yes. called by him. Amen. By Jesus, amen. And 19 says, To wit, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath uh, committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Yes. Amen. And verse 20 says, Now then, we are ambassadors of Christ, as though Christ did receive to you by us. We pray, you in Christ stand be ye reconciled to God. Mm -hmm. We're ambassadors. We're his mouthpiece on earth. That's it. How's the word going to get out? Yeah. We're going to speak it. We're going to yeah. share the word with them. Amen. Amen. So that they can hear. They have an opportunity to hear mm -hmm. and those seed, those 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 words are seeds yeah. that will go in them and yeah. grow. And this is it. this going to be watered. They're going to hear it again yeah. and hear it again and hear it again yeah. until it's time for them to come to Christ. Amen. And confess Christ as the Lord and Savior. 
And verse 21 says, For he hath made him to be uh -huh. uh, sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Amen. Amen. So in him, man, I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. So people are worthy, God's worthy heroes, Muhammad, Buddha, Allah, Confucius. If you want to throw in Hitler and uh, Joseph Smith, Jim Jones, Dave Koresh, many of these men, they killed a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people followed him. Mm -hmm. But they were following the wrong thing. Yeah. You got to know what the word of God says. Yes. So you're following the right God yes. and not a false God. Yes. Amen. Because there's a lot of things out there. There's a lot of voices out there. Mm -hmm. But you got to make sure you're doing the right thing mm -hmm. and you're listening and following the right God. Amen. Yes. Yes. Praise God. All have died and still did. Yeah. <laughs> still did, still yes. buried, never rose. That's it. And there's plenty of evidence. You go dig them, go dig their graves, and they're still, they're still there. <laughs> But Jesus died, but he rose on the third day. We serve a risen Savior. Let's remember this. We don't serve a dead God. That's it. So he don't want us to be dead Christians. He don't want us to be uh, helpless Christians. Uh -huh. You know, the worst thing about being a Christian is being helpless yeah. and not using the authority God given you. Right, right. He's given you all these yeah. tools for you to use, and we're just helpless calling on him on a daily basis, you know. He says, you do this. Yeah. You take authority. You, I want you to do this. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to step out in him. Just yeah. like little David going against the giants. We mm -hmm. step out into the world on a daily yeah. basis and see giants on a daily basis. Yes. But guess what? Greater is he that sent me than yes. he that is in the world. And world. use that authority and say, hey, I'm taking you down. Mm. Amen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. Here's another good one. Psalms 118.24. This is the first miracle every day when you wake up. That's your wake-up call. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Yes. Many didn't wake up. Many, many, many never yes. woke up, you know. But thank God I woke up. Amen. And, Lord, I just want to say thank you. He says, uh, this is the day the Lord is me. He says, we or I or Jose will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Why? Because the greater one is with me. Yes. Because he's using me. Amen. And I'm serving him. And I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Circumstances, uh, weather, hot or cold, mm. it doesn't matter. That's it. I'm going to press through and yes. I'm going to rejoice and be glad. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Here I am, ready to serve you. Yes. And you are doing, you do the same thing. We, we read this last week, but it says John uh, 14, 6 in the New Living Translation. Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Mm -hmm. There's no other way. That's it, yeah. If you learn a different way, it's wrong. Yeah. Is, is it in the Bible? Somebody yeah. gives you scripture. Yeah. First thing you want to do is, is, is can you give me scripture? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, somebody told me. Well, guess what? <laughs> I'm throwing that away. Mm -hmm. If it's not in the Word and you can't give me scripture, mm -hmm. I'm not thinking it. And I'm not believing it. Mm -hmm. It's not in the Word. It's not from yeah. God. I ain't receiving it. Yeah. Amen. I don't want to be uh, entertain anything that's going to distract me and take take me out of, out of course. I'm going to stay on the road. Yeah. Ooh, come on now. Why was the stone rolled away? <laughs> if you ask yourself this question, the stone was not rolled away for Jesus to come out. That's it. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't rolled for him to come out because in a few minutes I'll read to you and I'll I'll show you where it says the disciples were. Locked up in the house yeah. because they're afraid of the Jewish leaders coming, yes. and they was locked in there. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, Jesus is amongst them, and He yeah. says, "Peace be with you." Yeah. <laughs> and after they woke up, after they fainted, and got up, <laughs> oh God! You know, He was there. He didn't. He didn't have to. He didn't need to have the stone rolled away. He could just walk through it. He's He's a spirit. Amen. He can just walk through there. So the stone was rolled away so that men and women, us, and other witnesses could see that, that the tomb was empty. It took many soldiers to roll this stone there. So one person could not do it by themselves. You say, well, we don't want uh, some, some of his people to come and roll the stone away. It took lots of soldiers to move, move that stone, uh, roll that stone on there. So it, it would it would have took a whole lot 
to move it back. Mm -hmm. But that stone was thrown away. One angel. <laughs> and there's one angel sitting up there and says, Hi. He <laughs> said, I know what you're looking for. <laughs> uh -huh. If an angel talks to me, I'll probably be passed out. <laughs> now, I know you wouldn't, but I probably wouldn't. <laughs> The empty tomb made visible to all for proof. He's not here. The empty tomb is the greatest evidence for the resurrection of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. He's alive today and forevermore. Mm -hmm. So critics have tried to explain and have not been able to. Yes, yeah. You know, hey, CNN, all these people, they try, try to find out and so that they can explain. Uh -huh. but, uh -huh. and still, they can't. <laughs> says, thank you, Father, and thank you, Jesus. And again, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he did this for us. Amen. The enemy came, says the enemy came, John 10, 10, to steal, kill, and destroy. And he's still doing this if yes. we allow him. Jesus says, I come that you might have life yes. and have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I'm going to read this to you from the New Living Translation. And you can follow if you want to. It's John 20, chapter 20, verses 1 through 31. Okay. And then we'll be done. <laughs> yeah. John, uh, chapter, uh, excuse me, uh, John 20, chapter 20, verse 1 through 31. And I'm going to read it from this translation. So you follow along with your translation. Uh, this, I can understand. It says, early Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. She ran and found Simon Peter and the other disciples to whom Jesus loved. She says, they have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb and we don't know where they put him. Mm -hmm. Peter and the other disciples started out, of, out towards the tomb and they were running but the other disciples outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He, they stooped and looked in and saw the linen wrappings laying there but he didn't go in but Simon Peter arrived and went inside and he also noticed the linen wrappings lying there while the cloth that had covered Jesus's head was folded up and laying apart from the other wrappings then the disciples who had reached the tomb first also went in and saw and believed for until then they still hadn't understood the scriptures yeah. that Jesus must rise from the dead. Right. Then they went home. <laughs> Jesus appeared unto Mary, Magdalene. Jesus was standing outside the tomb, verse 11, crying. And as she wept, she stood and looked in. She saw two white robe angels, one sitting at the head and the other at the foot of the place where the body of Jesus had laid. Mm -hmm. Dear woman, why are you crying? The angel asked her. Because they have taken my Lord, she replied. And I don't know where they put him. She turned to leave and he saw someone standing there. Mm -hmm. It was Jesus, but she didn't recognize him. Mm -hmm. Verse 15 says, Dear woman, why are you crying? Jesus asked her. Who are you looking for? She thought he was a gardener. Mm -hmm. Sir, she says, if you have taken him away, tell me where you put him, and I will go and get him. Mm -hmm. In verse 16 says, Mary, Jesus says, she turned to him and cried out, Rabboni, which in Hebrew means teacher. It's you. <laughs> he says, do not touch me. Don't clean. Don't hold me. He says, Jesus says, where I haven't ascended to the Father. But go find your brothers and tell them, I am ascended to the Father and your Father, to my God and to your God. Yes. Verse 18 says, Mary Magdalene found her disciples and told them, I have seen the Lord. Then she came, she gave him this message. <laughs> what would you think? Mm. He's dead. He's not going to rise up because everybody else we've seen die is still in the tomb. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus appeared to the disciples and then he commissions them. Verse 19 says, The Sunday evening, the disciples were meeting behind locked doors. Yeah. You ain't going to walk in my room if the door is locked. Mm. 
because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders. Suddenly Jesus was standing there among them. He says, peace be with you, he says. As he spoke, he showed them the wounds on his hands and the side where they filled. They were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. Yes. He says, peace be with you as the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. Yes. You know this you is you. You yeah. didn't put your name there. Yeah. He says, I am sending you. Mm -hmm. He's equipped you. He's given you everything yes. you need to fulfill All and right. do whatever God has called you to do. He says, I am sending you. Mm -hmm. It's not the world. It's not nobody else. I am sending you. Yeah. Amen. So just know this. This yeah. is, we're growing and we're reading. I wanted you to read this from this translation so you can see. He says, I am sending you. Mm -hmm. So God is sending each and every one of us. So you're important to him. You're part of his group. You're part of yeah. his team. Amen? Amen. Team stands for together everyone achieves more. Yes. We all achieve together. Amen? And we all work in unity. Woo. Hallelujah. I lost my place. 22. <laughs> 22. Then he breathed on them. Breathe. He breathed on them yeah. and said, receive the Holy Spirit. 23 says, if you forgive others, sins they are forgiven mm -hmm. if you do not re if you not forgive them then they are not forgiven mm -hmm. jesus appeared to thomas seeing and believing one of the 12 disciples thomas nicknamed the twin was not with the others when <laughs> jesus came the first time mm -hmm. they told him we have seen the lord mm -hmm. and he replied I won't believe it unless yeah. I see yeah. the nail wounds in his hands mm -hmm. and I put my fingers yeah. in them. And then I want to place my hand in the yeah. wound on his side. So you know what? That wound on his side was big enough for a hand to go in. So it's just not a little thing there. It was big enough for a hand to go in. Mm -hmm. That's what he says. So verse 26 says, Eight days later the disciples were again together. This time Thomas was with them. The doors were locked again. <laughs> but suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. Peace be with you, he says. Yes. <laughs> of course, then he walks over to Thomas. Mm -hmm. He says to Thomas, put your finger here in his wound. Mm -hmm. He says, put your finger here and look at my hand. He says, put your hand in the wound on my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe. Yes. And this is what all of a sudden this is what Thomas says, my Lord and my God. Mm. Thomas explained. Yeah. <laughs> he says, Then Jesus told him, You believe because you have seen. Mm. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. That's right. Amen. And that's what we need to believe. We read his word. Amen. Yeah. And believe in him and have faith in him. And have faith yes. in his word and what he's told us to that's do. Right. Amen. And we're serving them on a daily basis mm -hmm. and we're walking by faith and not by sight. That's it. Amen. Praise God. And there's so many things and so many distractions try to tell you different. Yeah. And try to distract you from these things. Yeah. Yeah. We can't let that happen to us. That's Amen. It. Yeah. The disciples saw Jesus do many other miraculous signs mm -hmm. or miracles in addition to the ones recorded in this book. Yeah. But these are written so that many continue to believe that yes. Jesus is the Messiah, Amen. the Son of God, and that by believing in Him, yes. you will have life and power mm -hmm. in His name. Yes. Amen. By Jesus' name, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We have yes. power and we have the authority. Amen. So yes. just as a quick explanation, you already know this, but I'm going to read it to you anyway. It says, Jesus and the folding of the napkin. Mm. It's a long story, but still, when the Master came to visit and you serving. Amen. The servant serving. And if he walks, if he gets up to walk away, and his napkin is just left. Uh, he wasn't finished. Wasn't, if, if he left his napkin undone, that means I'm not coming back. But if he folded, if he got up to do whatever, and he folds his napkin, that means I'm coming back. So when Jesus. When they saw that napkin that covered his head folded at the tomb, that means I'm coming back. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
it goes like this it says the gospel of john verse uh, 20 through 7 tells us that the napkin which was placed over the face of jesus was not just thrown aside with the other clothes the bible takes an entire verse to tell us that the napkin was neatly folded yeah. and was placed at the head of the stony coffin. Mm -hmm. Neatly placed. Mm -hmm. Who did it? <laughs> the, the folded napkin means I am coming back. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. I've told you this many times, but we the the, the tornado seasons here, we prepare for tornadoes, we prepare for hurricanes, we prepare for viruses, we prepare for sicknesses, we prepare for everything. Yeah. But Jesus says, I'm coming back. Uh -huh. It's time we prepare ourselves and yes. get ready for his coming. Yeah. Because he is coming. Yes, he Just is. Just like he said he would rise up on the third day. Yeah. He is coming back. So we need to be about the Father's business. That's it. Amen. Not anything else. Be careful of distractions. The yes. enemy comes to steal, kill, kill destroy. destroy. Amen. Mm -hmm. Last week we talked about you don't want no uh, part-time kids. He wants full-time kids. Yes. Yes. Amen. Full custody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so be a full time Christian, not just a yeah. part time Christian. Yeah. Amen. And uh, some of us play this real well. Mm. And we, we need to stop this. Yeah. Amen. Because he knows. Yes, he does. Amen. Yeah. He knows. Mm -hmm. And that's it. The full napkin means I'm coming back. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Jesus is coming back. Yes, Amen. He is. So praise God. I hope you got something from this. It blessed me. And thank you. Happy Resurrection Sunday, all those that are watching. Amen. God loves you and we love you. You know, we don't want to close without giving you an opportunity to receive him as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. So that from now on, you can start serving him yeah. and doing for him. Amen. So if you never ask Jesus in your heart, now's the time. Yes. All you have to do is, is just say, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. That's all you have to do. And start changing and start serving him. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he's not going to throw you away. That's no. It. God sacrificed his son for your salvation. Yes. But you have to confess it with your mouth. Amen. Yes, yes. So praise God. You take that opportunity and start living for him and start going to church where they teach the word of God. Yes. Amen. So the <clears throat> only two places you can go is either heaven or hell because mm -hmm. there is a hell. Yeah. And you know, I have a bumper sticker that says, it's hell out there without Jesus. <clears throat> it doesn't matter where you go, it's hell out there without Jesus. If you don't have Jesus, you're going to have hell. <laughs> and you're no match to a full-time devil if you're just doing this part-time. It ain't going to work. We fight a spiritual battle. And you can't fight a spiritual battle physically in, a, in this physical body. You're no match to the enemy. we got to get in the Word of God and know yes. our God. How do we know him? By getting in his word mm -hmm. and letting his word become alive in us and start yes. confessing the word. Amen. So Amen. praise God. If you have sickness in your body, he's not giving us a spirit of uh, sickness, of infirmity. We just cast that out of you in Jesus' yes. name. Just touch your body and mm -hmm. just confess this over you. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. And nobody, what my, it doesn't matter what my body's telling me, yes. I confess the word of God. Mm -hmm. I want everything in my body to function yes. the way he created it to function. Mm -hmm. No, I receive no malfunctions in my body in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. And receive his healing. Yes. My body says, my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I receive no healing, no, no sickness in my body. Mm -hmm. I receive my healing in Jesus' name. Yes. Jesus was sacrificed and took some stripes in his back for me to be healed. So I receive my healing. Quit talking. The sickness. Quit talking the problem and start yes. confessing what His Word of God says. Yes. That if I have stripes, I'm healed. Yes. Body line up with the Word of God and be healed. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So praise God and bless me. I don't know about you. So time to give. Yes. Uh, if you're watching, listening, uh, well, we don't have enough. I'll give it to you. Go to our website, nbcbigband.com, and just hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, and uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. God bless you and have a happy and blessed Resurrection Sunday. Amen. God bless you. We love you. Bye.